Hi guys, I just want to talk to you about my cycling uh, issues on my P80. Uh, basically, I was getting inconsistent ejection resulting in occasional stovepipes. Um, but it, it genuinely is uh, an issue with ejection. So even when the rounds were not stovepiping or something like that, so this would only happen one, once every mag or something like that, maybe not even, still unreliable, but it was just all over the place. I'd have shells going out in front. I'll show you a video right now. So shells going front, right, whatever. And then of course, with that kind of, you know, crazy random ejection, it's gonna stovepipe eventually. And that's exactly what it was doing. So in terms of troubleshooting, I immediately uh, asked a friend if I could borrow their Glock 17 uh, Gen 3 and OEM, just to see if I could play around with parts, like see if, see, take a look at a few problems. and. So I've got a Brownells uh, slide, cheap guide rod, P80 um, slide parts and a OEM guide rod. So just basic stuff, mostly stock except for the P80 slide parts. Um, but putting the slide on his frame, an OEM frame, the ejection patterns were fixed completely. So what told me was it was something wrong with my frame. Now as a P80 person, the first build is like, I don't want to know that there's a frame problem. But um, it's very cute. Like, uh, so there's only a few things that could potentially be wrong. So here you've got the uh, guide rod channel and maybe that's getting hung up. So um, I checked that. I mean, I could feel it. It seemed perfectly fine. Um, now something Alpha Romeo 15, another YouTube brought up was that in the transition from Gen 3 to Gen 4, the Gen 3 part had uh, a change in materials, potential geometry, specifically around the extractor. I'm not exactly sure what was happening there, but a common fix was to use a Gen 4 ejector in the Gen 3 system. Now, I thought, it, I obviously was looking a lot at the ejector as well because I was having ejection consistency issues. Um, so this seemed like a reasonably easy fix. So the, to get one of these Gen 4 ejectors, um, it's, it comes only as a part of a Gen 4 trigger housing. Thankfully, that's only like $10.90 from Brownells. Um, and it's not glued in or anything. It's just a friction fit. And you, you just take the trigger housing, this piece of plastic here, and then pull the ejector that way. You can't do it while it's installed because this wall prevents the, um, the ejector from moving forward. But if you drift this pin out, pop the housing up just a little bit, you'll be able to use a pair of pliers to just pull out the Gen 3 ejector and then likewise install the Gen 4 ejector. So once you've done, I did that, it was, everything's cleared up perfectly fine. I really wanted to share that because that, that can be very frustrating. It really is actually a cheap fix. All right, thanks everyone. Like and subscribe.